this is what I'm going to be working on. Anyway, I got it hooked onto my tractor. But this is a plow for a customer. It's not mine. It's a 35 foot Richardson. So there's this linkage thing here that uh, lifts the plow. It's a hydraulic cylinder off over here. It pushes on this, pushes on this pipe, which pushes on the tires. Um, a little hard to show with all that stuff in there, but that's how the plow lifts. And these pivot here because that's where the wings are. So when that flexes, that allows it to all stay in line and not bind up and flex with it. Okay, this one's all good. I just got done greasing it, putting it back together. But this one is completely wore out. Matter of fact, this isn't even the right bushing. It's actually two pieces stuck together in there. Um, lots of play. This bushing goes up in here. Lots of play. So I'm going to show repairing this piece, and there's potentially several other to do on this plow, but I'm not going to show them all. It's just going to be a quick run through of how I do this. Real easy stuff, <laughs> in theory. Uh, I got my inch and a half gauge thing here that I use, and it looks like from here to here, this side of the hole is correct because it fits in there really, really nice along there. Well, I guess more like from there to there. It fits really, really nice. And I think that's the correct location because if I measure the sidewall over here um, along the grease zerk, the grease zerk hole's right there, um, I come up with about 884 thousandths just eyeballing it. And then if I measure out to the straight side over here, It looks like 889 thousandths. So that looks like where it's supposed to be because that would give you the same thickness of wall here and here. And also, let's see, if I go up this way, I mean we're 879. So I'm going to get my scribe and just mark it from here to here and go ahead and just fill that in with a weld over there and uh, machine that back down. Well, I got that welded. Hopefully I put enough weld in there and when I go back to machining it, there won't be any voids. It's always, you know, important to make sure you weld up above and beyond what you think you're going to need and then take it back down. I'm going to let that sit and cool for a while and work on other parts of this plow, but you're not going to see me working on other parts of this plow in this video. Instead, all you're going to see is a nice dissolve. And it's cool. It's not cold, but definitely cool enough to the touch. Not a problem. I'm going to take the grinder and I'll grind off this where it's too high. I'll grind that back down on both sides and then we'll start machining on it. Uh, a little difficult to tell from over here, I'm sure, but I am up against this right here. And I've got this bit still set for inch and a quarter, but I can't go this way anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and bore this out to inch and a quarter, remove that much. I'll take about a quarter inch off of this side. So allow me to move over. I think I only need to go an eighth of an inch over. And then we'll bump up this size. I hope that's the right thing to do. Oh, <laughs> uh, I maybe mean, I better do some measuring to make sure I'm not gonna go past if I do that. Ah. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna take it out to inch and a half. So I definitely built that up plenty. So that'll work. It's much better to be looking at it than looking for it, right? Someone far better with a craftsman than me always says. Well, I think I am where I need to be. I'm actually right up against this side, which makes sense in my head. The cutter is just touching this side. So. I wish I could go slower than that. Alright. Boy, that looks 
perfect. It's touching over here, but I mean, it is just touching. I read that wrong. Yeah, I'm 60,000 silver. Come on, tighten up. There we go. Ah. doing this wrong. If I move that bit in, I gotta move this piece over. Forty-five over still. Uh, Forty, forty-one that direction. Just dawned on me. That's acceptable because I got to make a bushing to fit in there, so I can make the bushing forty thousand over or thirty thousand over. Duh! I don't have to be spot on because I make the bushing to fit. Ah, yay! Saved. I'm actually just going to use a piece of dom. It's oversized on the outside, and that's a decent fit. It's a little sloppy, but it's uh, like 20 thousandths gap in there. So that's what I want. The inside is actually under one inch, but sticking it on the threads of the bolts, especially these old wire out bolts, it fits really nice. So I just need to fix this one, and you know, it's worn out on this clevis. Good amount of play in there. So I was trying to figure out how to do it, and then it dawned on me that I might be able to go up to an inch and a quarter pin. This is a one inch pin. So I was like, well, if I go up to inch and a quarter, would that make it a round hole? So I'm measuring, which is hopefully the long way, and it's just under inch and a quarter. So going up to inch and a quarter, drill all these, drill this hole and this hole, and this hole out to inch and a quarter, it'd be fixed. And I have a bigger pin in there. Problem solved. Just got a small area in there that didn't quite clean up. And I mean, it's not too bad. So I'm just going to try to fill that in with the MIG welder real quick. And and see if we can't remachine it. Looks like I should have gone another pass right through there and on the other side. But I mean, like right over here, you can see it's touching all the way around. So, I mean, that is darn close. Really, really close. Good enough for this old plow, right? Okay. Um, Looks like a nice round hole. Done with that. Now let's work on the uh, yoke that goes over this thing. Uh, it's flexing a little. Probably don't have this top one clamped down. Oh yeah, it's actually really wide in there because that's spread. All right, well, I gotta add a clamp. down there like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, touch it up with the die grinder I guess, but ugly burr's gone and fits great. That is like perfect fit in there. Just a little bit of wiggle 
That is it. So that is awesome. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Yes! Oh, that's so nice. That's beautiful. And I'm so happy with that. So that's how I uh, rebuild those plates and linkage and stuff like that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the other video out there will be about putting this hitch on the front of this thing and redoing that, rebuilding that A-frame. Rebuilding these hinge points back here. I'm sure there'll be more in one video. So uh, look for some other videos on this project on my channel.